A stress test can help doctors determine whether there is a blockage in your arteries, a view that can help save a patient's life. The patient here is me. Thankfully, my heart was pumping just fine. What brought me to this moment were intermittent chest pains in the summer of 2022. My doctor ordered a CT scan of my lungs, but the image found something else in my heart. This bright white spot is calcification, an indication of coronary artery disease. My heart was the last thing on my mind. I work out, and although my diet probably needed an upgrade, it wasn't terrible. I've never smoked. I have no family history of heart disease. And although the lines of time, well, they're settling in, I'm still fairly young. If we can get to that heart rate, that's the main goal. According to the CDC, I am among the fewer than 1% of adults under the age of 45 diagnosed with CAD. Here's what I know now. Heart disease and conditions that lead to it can happen at any age. At 40, I didn't know my numbers, and there was something else, inflammation. I've perfected covering this up. But you I have see. spent decades masking an autoimmune condition, psoriasis. Traditionally, it has been regarded as a disease affecting only the skin and joints. More recently, studies have shown that it's a systemic inflammatory disorder. We know that inflammation can affect the heart in multiple different uh, mechanisms and ways. We also know that patients with these conditions, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, um, lupus, they also have an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. Though not my physician, Dr. Brittany Weber, director of the Cardio Rheumatology Clinic at Brigham and Women's Hospital, is on the cutting edge of the autoimmune heart connection. One of the problems about patients with inflammatory diseases is they're rare. Um, and so when you're talking about these large outcome trials in cardiology, we don't have that. Being able to use imaging and imaging surrogates to start to address these questions within these diseases are now coming. What doctors do have on their side are advances in technology. Imaging such as CT scans can help identify heart conditions in those considered high risk. Heart disease remains the number one cause of death worldwide. But unlike mammograms and colonoscopies, I was surprised to learn CT imaging is not part of the routine health screening. Why? I think we're getting to a place where we will identify people who are higher risk and then start to use these kind of technologies for active surveillance. I think cardiology is on the cusp of figuring that out. So for now, we focus on the good news. Much of what contributes to heart disease can not only be prevented through diet, exercise, and lifestyle, but for many, like me, who live with a chronic condition, new treatments can help prevent major cardiac events. When you're on the right therapy, we can stop that plaque from progressing, and many patients ask me, can I live past 100 for this? I say, absolutely. Nicole joins us now. So these are amazing findings, this connection between mm -hmm. autoimmune diseases and the heart. So if people are concerned about this or have an autoimmune disorder, what should they be doing? Well, I just want to make sure that everybody realizes back home that not everyone with an autoimmune condition or an inflammatory condition is going to have heart involvement. Mm -hmm. If you do have one of these conditions, it's so important to control the other risk factors, your diet, your lifestyle. And also something that I didn't know, there's a whole world for this, mm -hmm. preventive cardiology. Mm -hmm. They will see patients who are at high risk, help them prevent heart involvement. If they already have heart disease, hopefully help prevent the progression of mm -hmm. that. So. so for people who may not have obvious risk factors, why is it so important? They might not think to talk to their doctor. Why is it so important for them to advocate for themselves and to ask questions? Well, here's the message I want to convey tonight. Push your doctor to have that conversation and push yourself. I think it's all too easy even if we go to the doctor with some symptoms and they say, hey, it's indigestion. We want to believe that, like Carol Ann, Carol Ann said with a pregnant woman. So. We just leave mm -hmm. and we are, we're thankful for that answer. But myself, I was sitting in a cardiology office uh, a few months ago. Doctor's looking at my scan. You can see the calcification in my heart. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me and he said, well, you're fit, you're healthy. Gave me a statin and sent me on my way. Yeah. 
I left, mm -hmm. even me, mm -hmm. because I wanted to believe that. And on the way home, I thought, wait, we didn't talk about diet. We didn't talk about, you know, the future right. and, and inflammation. So really push yourself as well. Well, we're really glad mm -hmm. that you are here and happy and healthy <laughs> and have found those answers that you needed to find for yourself and shared that with other people who need that information as well. Thank it, you. Really important for me to share this simply because a lot of my friends and family looked at me and said, wait, what, you? Mm -hmm. And that's really what we hear so often. Right. So. Thank All you, right, Nicole. Nicole Estefan, thank you so much. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Nicole, for joining us mm. and sharing your story with us. I'm Shana Seymour. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a good evening. We'll see you back here again tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Have a good evening, everybody.